What is up, cryptopreneurs? Welcome to my channel, Bitcoin Street. If you like what you see in this video, don't forget to subscribe and like and do all that stuff. Let's get to it. Bitcoin was in a range here. And of course, here at the top. And I was expecting this maybe to come down here and get back in that range. It was over there on the left, but it didn't quite do it. It didn't quite drop down. There's some buying pressure there, and then there's selling pressure above it, and it's kind of trapped here. So the range has developed here. It's kind of strange. Um, we went through the Super Bowl. Super Bowl may have had some abnormal Bitcoin action going on. That should all be over with now. My last video, I talked about the Super Bowl and how Bitcoin acted. This is a six-hour chart of Super Bowl 2022 a year ago. Six-hour candles starting here. There's two black vertical lines. I want you to be able to see the wicks here at green, red, red, red. 6 a.m. to noon candle peaked, and it went down. Real quick, let's go to the six-hour chart. Keep this in mind for next Super Bowl. These four here. Circle it like we did before. Zoom in on it. The 6 a.m. to noon candle peaked and dumped all the way down. That's what they're basically the same. They bought out the same. But look how similar that is. Let's draw that back in there again. Look how similar that is. Those four. Interesting. Keep that in mind for next year, maybe. Those four. Look at that. The 6 a.m. to noon candle peaked and dumped down. It's very, very similar. Switch it back and forth. Pretty darn close. I don't know. Is that a coincidence? I don't know. I bet it's not. Something to keep in mind next year. Okay, let's go back. I will definitely keep that in mind for next year. Pretty interesting stuff. Lots of Bitcoin transactions. Lots of Bitcoin being converted to dollars. Lots of dollars being converted to Bitcoin. Kind of interesting how that worked. Almost identical structure. Okay, enough with that. So I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. I have this red line drawn in here. Let's get this out of here. The red horizontal line I have drawn in here is the top, is the top of that range. And the white line horizontal here, you see it's the bottom of that range. The white line up here is the bottom of that range. I was expecting Bitcoin to drop down here, like I said earlier, and, and get into this range. But it hasn't done that. It drops below the red line, as you can see. Zoom in a little more. The red line is 2000, uh, 21,748. It wants to drop down into this bottom range, but, but it doesn't. It goes back up here. But it's not up to the top range. It's kind of in this section between the red and white line, which I find a little strange. So I'm not sure what's going on. I, in my videos, I, I like to you know, give out my opinion on what's probably going to happen right now. I have no idea. <laughs> it's just literally riding that red line to the right. So this vertical blue line here is February 24th, where Bitcoin futures expire. The one on January 27th was here. One deeply entrenched habit of Bitcoin is if it pumps to these lines, it dumps from these lines. If it dumps to these lines, it pumps from those lines. Now, it can be a few days before, a few days after. But as you can see here, Six days after the January 27th futures expiration, it dumped almost 12%. Boom. What I'm expecting, I have a long and a short open right now. My, my short is bigger than my long. I do believe, I'm a firm believer that we're here. We're in this ballpark here. And I'm a firm believer we're going to end up down here somewhere, whether it's 12 or 15, whatever it is. I do believe we're coming here. I do believe we're here now. So in a macro scale, macro sense, macro outlook, that's why I believe having a, a bigger short than my long now is, is a, a good idea. Why do I have a long and a short open? It's hedging. Ever since I started doing it this way, I've been super successful. And, and I just I don't, I'm not telling anyone to do anything. I just want to bring it to your attention. So if Bitcoin were to go straight sideways here, it's probably going to dump from that red, from that line. Because this 12% dump here constitutes the dump. It qualifies. So if it just went sideways, 
probably looking at a dump from here. Now, if it pumps from here, if it pumps up to that line, then we're probably looking at a dump from that ballpark, right? So if it dumps here through February to the end of February, then we're probably looking at the pump. So those are about basically the three outcomes. What I'm expecting is, as I'm kind of leaning towards, there's a pump coming, but I'm not sure. It's just going straight sideways. So I don't know for sure. But I have a smaller, my long is smaller than my short. So if my short, if it pumps up, my short goes underwater. But I'm okay with that because I'll take profit on the long if it comes up here. And then I'll just leave the short open if or add and add to it. Right? See how this working? Or it dumps now and my short is bigger than my long. So I make profit. See? Okay, close them both down. You know, the long will be a loss, but the short will be a bigger win. Right? So <laughs> ever since I started doing it this way, I've been doing really good. And so this might not be a good idea to do all the time, but in, it's situational, right? The situation I believe we're in now is that we're going to end up down here, right? I believe we're down here in the near future. We're down here somewhere. There's some sort of big dump coming. The last, the last shakeout, right? And, uh, when that happens, it's going to be a great time to buy down there at the very bottom. And, uh, really don't got much more to say. I just want to, uh, bring it to your attention the, the hedging with a short i don't like the word hedging i mean that's what it is but there should be another word for it um i just kind of came across this doing it this way myself it's probably actually a super popular way to do it amongst amongst the legitimate professionals out there that's probably how they're making all that money all the videos i watched on youtube i never never once saw anyone tell me to do it like this right never once <laughs> So I'm not sure what that says, but right now I have a long and a short open and I've explained it, right? What's going to happen? The the thing the thing about this is why it wouldn't be a good idea to do like in different situations is I'm super confident that this is a steel ceiling up here. Up here is just a layer of polished solid to the core steel, right? We're we're not coming up here. That's that's my main point, right? <laughs> We're not coming up here. That's what I believe. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. Take it, leave it, and uh, just be just be safe out there. And uh, hope uh, everything's good with everyone. And as always, thanks for watching.